In Pakistan, there are zones which MSF has not been able to access so far. We're having difficulties setting up programs in the heart of the conflict zones. These zones are closed off, access is controlled by the army, and everyone remains outside. Last year, 600,000 people left their villages in a matter of hours, and within two days, everyone had left. This year, during the Swat Valley crisis, around one and a half million people fled in just a few days, leaving everything behind them. They may be poor in their villages, but they live in dignity. But after they fled, many were living in extremely precarious conditions. When we talk to the displaced about aid, there is indeed a major problem with how NGOs are perceived. They see aid as a politicized system, that it often represents money from abroad, from the West, from the USA. Americans send drones to Pakistan, bomb our villages, and then they come and set up camps with their money. They say to their Pakistani colleagues, why do you work with them? Why are you doing that? NGOs are associated with corruption and politics. This is the image people have of the Western world through the conflicts going on in the region. We felt it was very important to clarify who we are, to say that we're a private, medical, humanitarian organization without political or religious affiliation. Our objective is to provide medical care, and people see this through our work. We arrive, we set up the project, making sure we have the drugs and the personnel, and we treat patients daily. The main challenge for MSF in Pakistan is to try and work in the most remote regions. It is here where most of the exclusion exists, where the population is cut off from health care and where there is no assistance. There are high mortality rates among small children and among mothers during childbirth. Victims of the conflict and other people with trauma are also unable to access medical care as they are too isolated. This concerns the poorest groups in society, as richer people are able to pay for private medical services and they get by. But this simply isn't an option for the poorest people. They die up there in the mountains, and anyway, nobody pays attention to this population.